Okay, Rup. <clears throat> Here's how it works. Um, you got yourself a, you know, get a paintball tank. And um, the uh, soda stick has a um, an aluminum adapter built into the bottom of the stick. And that'll screw right on the paintball tank. In the top is where you put your cap. And in the center there, you can see there's a little dispenser uh, tip or a nozzle. The caps, uh, I'm trying to, there you go. Your caps are going to uh, have your little silicone, silicone nipple in the middle. And uh, they're going to fit right in here and down. And you'll basically be pushing down on that. There's a little piston. And it, uh, you know, it'll move up and down just a little bit. When you push down, it uh, releases the CO2. All right, so that's that's how that. Uh, let me try to get uh, um, yeah, a little demo together here for you. Let me see if I can <clears throat> juggle my coffee cup and use it as a, a camera stand here. <clears throat> see what happens. Um, I'm not. Uh, I lay no claim to being a pro at this, so uh, if. Uh, Everything uh, is uh, amateurish. Looks amateurish. It's because it damn sure is. All right. Um, <clears throat> I like to uh, I like to freeze uh, a little bit of water in the bottle. I took this bottle here, and um, you, you can see there's a piece of ice uh, along the edge here. And uh, if you uh, if you freeze uh, some water inside the bottle in the freezer, well, you've, you've got ice, so you can make your water really, really cold. And water accepts uh, CO2 um, <coughs> in solution more readily when it is, uh, you know, when it is cold. So what I like to do, and let's uh, let's get rid of some of this water here. There you go. Leave yourself some working room. Leave head space. That's going to help you out a lot. I don't have to tell you a lot about carbonation. You already have a fizz giz. So burp that bottle. Get it up there. Put yourself a fizz giz cap on good and tight. Okay. And um, <clears throat> let's see if I can show you how to screw this on. I guess I can do that. I don't know if the camera's going to be good to me or not here. Maybe not. Take a little different approach here for a second. Mm. A more reliable base here, perhaps. All right. So um, you got a little, little uh, thread protector here on your um, CO2 bottle. It's a normal pin valve, and. Um, you don't want to cross thread this thing. If you don't know about cross threading, you know, it's real easy to screw on here, okay? You see? See, I'm not having great difficulty. If you have a problem, then you got a problem with the threads on your tank. All right, so I'm going to tighten this thing up a little bit. It's got a kind of a you know, muscle guy. Okay, so it screws down on there. And uh, what happens here is when you, when you depress this thing, watch, just watch, okay? You see that? All right. So, now, I'll have to pick this up, give you a shot of it. So we got our bottle here. It's been burped. That means we've purged the uh, oxygen, it's, or the air. It's a tiny little bubble in there, okay? That's the ideal way to do it. You stick it up here and uh, pop her in. And as the uh, pressure inside begins to build up, you know, those bubbles, let me uh, clear this up where you can kind of see it. Those bubbles will um, eventually stop, uh, you know, stop. Now I've got a pressure regulator inside the stick. So that prevents, you know, the pressure inside the tank, which is like a 1,000 PSI, from going into this little tiny bottle here, which will pop at about 225 PSI. So you want to keep your pressure at 150 PSI or below, and that's what the purpose of the regulator and the stick is. And you can see the tiny bubbles, they'll eventually uh, 
Uh, dang, keeps on cold water, keeps on fogging up here. It eventually uh, stops. So here's the thing. Watch this. You shake it up really, really good, and you mix a lot of that CO2 in, and the bottle gets a little bit softer. That's because the CO2 is leaving the head space up there and going down into the uh, into the water. So let's go back up here and give it another shot. Ah, here you go. See, a lot of bubbles going in. And they slow down again. All right. I guess that's probably enough here. So, uh, okay, Duke Smoke. Um, I'm not going to bother, uh, you know, with this one. This is a, a bottle of, I wanted you to at least see the bottle of sparkling ice. It's, uh, a brand you can buy on Amazon. You can buy it in some stores. These are great bottles, and they're a perfect fit for my uh, fizz giz caps. All right, there's several bottles out there that work really, really well, and uh, the sparkling ice bottle is damn sure one of them. It's a, it's a great it's a great little bottle. Um, <clears throat> a company that makes it's called Talking Rain. They make it in a lot of flavors. This one happens to be kiwi strawberry. Um, they, they're actually, you know, I, I like them. Some people uh, probably, it's not your taste. Um, I think all of them are kind of sugar-free, so they do have that aspartame or whatever, you know, kind of sweetener they got in it aftertaste. Um, that's about it, buddy. I hope you enjoy your stick. Man, I'm really sorry, uh, Rupp, that it took me so long to do it, but I'm an old fart. I'm a one-man show. Uh, I'm by myself in this thing. I don't have any real big money backers. You just get what you get with me, okay? So uh, you got a good product. <clears throat> Hope you like it. All right, take care.